Welcome back, everybody. I hope you've been enjoying the RS content. But before we move any further with doing any installs, I figure you guys deserve a backstory. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. I believe I picked this car up in uh, 2012. It was actually right after I purchased the STI. I wanted to have a daily driver, something that was naturally aspirated that was good on gas, because the STI wasn't good on gas at the time. So um, yeah, 2012, the car was basically completely stock. Um, it had 02 to 03 WRX wheels on it. It didn't come with the five spokes. I was kind of bummed about it. It had a lot of miles on it. Um, but I felt like it was a pretty good deal for the time that they were going. It was really only one of a couple that were listed, and so I didn't have much to choose from. First modification I did to the car, actually, was I got the headlights and the corner lights. The, I ordered these off of eBay, I think. It was so long ago, I honestly don't remember. But they are glass housing headlights, so they're not bad quality. I've uh, actually been able to um, pull these headlights apart a couple different times and reseal them and they've never leaked so they're definitely good quality the corner lights I think these are like the third set because this tab up here always breaks got those off Amazon I think it's something cheap but yep first mod I ever did sticking with the front of the car the next thing I did was the front lip another cheap eBay item but I knew long term I wanted to paint this so I wasn't too worried about it um, and then I also built this uh, cooling plate. This was a long time ago. I had made this like in my driveway using a piece of steel that we had laying around. So that's been around for a long time. It's always worked though, so I've never felt the need to change it. Um, and then as well, the grill. And so this grill was actually like my first attempt at painting something with a can of paint that was uh, color matched. I uh, used a 2K clear coat and ended up clear coating it. But you see, I don't know if you can see, but as over time, the fiberglass has uh, completely cracked and started to deteriorate. So that's something we had to repaint. Then after that, it came the spats. This was probably one of those modifications that for anyone else, uh, I know that people know what I'm talking about, but it's like if, you done, if you've done a modification when you were younger and say it was your first car, it was something you were really excited about, like that feeling that you got, this was that modification for me. I drove out to Boulder to pick them up. It was an OEM modification, and it was something that I wanted for the longest time. I don't know if that sounds stupid just because it's a rear spat, but it was so cool at the time for me to be able to pick these up OEM. Uh, we'll actually do a later video on these where we talk about how to mount these because I got to remount mine. Over the years, they've kind of started to flex and droop and stuff. So uh, that'll be in another video, but this was one of my favorite modifications I think I've done to the car. So as uh, a lot of us, I made the mistake of doing a bunch of uh, performance upgrades to this car when it didn't need any of them. I should have just bought some good suspension, wheels and tires. But at the time I was being stupid, so as like everybody, I did the headers, exhaust. It sounded cool, but it just it didn't make it that much faster, it didn't really do much for it besides make it loud. But after that point, I moved on to doing the wheels. I picked up a set of wheels for my 2005 STI, so I was able to use the stock BBSs off that car, and we put them on the RS. Did you guys hear? Did you hear that guy? <laughs> that was funny. Anyways, uh, I did. Uh, I think I'm using ISC adapters. They're 5x100 to 5x114, since my uh, STI was a 2005. It has 5x114, uh, 2004 BBS wheels are 5x100. So I have used adapters. I believe they're ISC. Um, I've gone through tons of different lug nuts. We finally found a lug nut that actually looks really good on this car, though. Uh, just some cheap, other cheap items that we purchased online. You guys saw these. But uh, if you guys want to know anything about the JDM taillights that are on the car, go check out our other video. So we're in the inside of the vehicle. There's really not much going on inside the car. Uh, it's got stock seats, the carpet stock. We did change the headliner. We added a black suede um, material. It's actually really nice. Um, as you can tell, we have no sun visors. That's fine. 
Um, also too, we wrapped this in some suede. Uh, my car didn't come with this. It actually came with uh, the double stack ones. I don't know if you guys seen them in Subarus, but they have like two lids and they're massive. They're huge armrests. I hated it, but we found this at a junkyard. It's actually tan. Check it out, it's tan underneath. But we were able to wrap it. That turned out pretty sick. Uh, Ashlyn got a different shift boot. It's suede as well with some purple stitching. I got this shift uh, knob from a for Ashlyn for Christmas one year. It's uh, made by Alinium Flux, but you can get them engraved. So if you check this out, I don't know if you guys can read that. It says we ride together, we die together. I don't know if you guys will think it's corny, but I thought it was sick and it definitely fits me in Ashlyn's life. So I don't know if you guys can see it over here. The boost gauge was our last video we made. And you can already see, I told in the video that we were making out of PLA, but you can already see that it's crazy distorting. But it holds my boost gauge, so it did what I wanted it to. I think that's gonna be it for the inside of the vehicle. The only other thing is the bride door cards, but that was another video we made as well. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, check out the videos. We do full installs on the door cards, full install on the boost gauge. Um, I want, real quick, we didn't talk about this, Kenwood got a Kenwood monitor I think this monitor when we bought it was like hundred and fifty dollars is a super budget works super well we only really use it for the Bluetooth so it's what up. it's what up and if a shout out to anyone who leaves their plastic on because I'm a weirdo and I do that stuff <laughs> so I'm sure that you guys have noticed as we've been going around the vehicle there's tons of dents and uh, body problems with this vehicle the major one is this rust spot right here. Um, I rolled and pulled these fenders super aggressively because of the spacers, the adapters we had to use. But this rust spot over here is very common on a lot of old Subarus, a lot of old Japanese cars just in general. So I wanted to mention though, we're gonna end up cutting this out. We'll put a new piece of metal in. We'll completely put it back to original. Uh, but for the time being, uh, we wanted to get through winter and let the car just get beat up because it was going to get beat up anyways. But we got tons of hail damage. We're probably going to end up PDRing that. Um, I wet sanded my spoiler a long time ago. And as you can tell, it didn't do so hot. I took too much off. Got a couple some more small little fender bender areas. Uh, there's one right here. Uh, one right here. Both of these are my fault. The ripple right here. I was at my brother's apartment backed into a, a little pole thing. Um, kind of same situation here. Just backed into a, like a trash can door. But uh, both my fault. Both things that we're going to address in the future and get fixed. Also, there is this piece right here. All of the wrap or paint or whatever they use for this has come off. And so we need to either paint that, find a new trim piece, uh, finding old uh, Subaru trim pieces are actually not that easy. I don't know if they make these brand new. Uh, we'll find out. We'll get all of the trim pieces that we can brand new sorted out. Yeah. But let's move on to the best part of this car. My favorite part of this car. The best part of the car. So this car is actually EJ205 swapped. It's a JDM EJ205. Uh, we did get the swap with a JDM ECU, but there, we are actually had a ton of problems with it. The ECU itself seems to be malfunctioning. Uh, it's actually kind of a big bummer because we have a JDM motor which is equipped with dual ABCS, but this motor we can't use the dual ABCS because um, we actually ended up having to get an O2 to O3 WRX ECU for a USDM car and they do not utilize dual ABCS. So kind of a bummer. We lose a little bit of low end torque, a little bit of pickup, helps the turbo spool faster and stuff like that. So this car has a ton of recycled parts from my 2005 STI. We're doing a little bit of a separate build on that car so we didn't need a lot of this stuff. Uh, we're running a Perrin 3 inch turbo inlet. It's got a Perrin short ram intake. We built a custom little box right here um, to kind of just keep the heat from the uppipe away. The intercooler that we're running is a 2008 STI, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that is the biggest top mount intercooler that Subaru made for any of the years. So it's kind of cool that we have that. It's already a decent upgrade. Uh, couplers, we have a parent heat shield back over here. as 
well as you guys have, may have noticed this braided line right here. We did this braided line um, just because it made the installation of everything we were doing a little bit simpler. But that's basically your high pressure line for your power steering. We have an OEM two port boost control solenoid. Uh, the car is running Raceland coilovers. I forgot to mention that. Um, also, we have an NVIDIA Catless downpipe that's made it up to an HKS high power. Uh, you guys may have noticed this plate back here, and the merge harness is done by iWire. I want to give a huge shout out to iWire, Brian, all of them down there, they're great people. I was having some problems with the car when we first swapped it with that JDM ECU, and they were huge help. They're actually the ones that sent me the USDM ECU, so good people. I highly recommend getting a, a merge harness done by them. It'll, it makes everything so much easier. Um, but I think that honestly wraps up most of the engine bay. Uh, we have a Coyorad radiator. I built these custom plates for the alternator and then a cooling plate. And I think that's about it. It's relatively stock. It's on a stock tune. So the reason that all of this is even possible, the reason that we have this swap done, it's already in the car, the car runs, is all due to Ashlyn. She's the one behind the camera right now. The reason that she wanted to do this swap um, was because she had a 2001 Forester. It was a great car, we both loved it, but it just wasn't any fun. It wasn't, you know, an exciting car that you could drive around and have a good time with. So she wanted something a little bit more exciting. Um, the engine, the original engine in this car blew up. And so she wanted to take, take it upon herself to get her a car that she thought was awesome, something that she could work on all the time and have fun with. So she fully invested all the money it took to do this swap. She fully invested to uh, do the merge harness. Everything was really on her, and uh, I think she ended up getting a pretty cool car for it. Um, it was mine originally, but the way I look at it, she she paid her way to have that car. So, super sick car. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up. I don't know if there's much more I can really say about this car. If you guys have any questions, definitely put them in the comment box. And uh, I'm always reading them. I'm always looking. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey